Hi, Anna Moss here. This is 20 Things You Need to Know About the Warning Signs of Domestic Violence. This is insight number eight. How can you test a relationship to tell if someone might have abusive tendencies? If you know what to look for, your best information is going to come from what you can see with your own two eyes. And remember, a perpetrators are actors and master perpetrators can fool everyone for a good long time. A background check can be helpful for things like seeing if he's been honest about his marital status or if he's got a criminal record, but they're by no means foolproof. Background checks can have holes in them. Lots of abusers know how to carry on without ever actually breaking a law, so they don't get reported even though they've left a trail of human destruction everywhere they've gone. Some ways to test are to look for how he reacts to oppositional circumstances like disappointment, frustration, hardship, or inconvenience. Here are some specific things you can watch for. How does he react when he's cut off or stuck in traffic? What happens when a decision doesn't go his way? How does he treat subordinates and service people? What does he do when you or someone else says no to him? How does he treat animals and children? And how do they respond to him? Does he really have friends or just acquaintances? How much does he use charm in his dealings with people? Does what you see with your own eyes confirm or contradict how he represents himself? What you're looking for are patterns, not just one-time behaviors. You know, one of the initial impressions that many men who turn out to be abusive make is that of being too good to be true. Perpetrators are masters at keeping their true nature hidden. And this is another reason not to let yourself be rushed. Next, how attractive a target might you be? And how can you assess your vulnerability?